Hey everybody, Zach here from Sub It Up, coming to you with an upgrade to our copy and paste feature. If you would like to take a week that I've already created here in my calendar and copy it forward into the future, either all for every single week into the future or for a rotating period, every other week, every three, three weeks, things like that, you are going to be able to use this feature to accomplish those goals. So after I've created this week on my calendar, I'm gonna to go to schedule tools on the right-hand side and I'm gonna choose copy and paste shifts. Now this is a little different than what it looked like previously, but now on this first page, you're gonna choose your source week. And what this means is the week that I wanna copy, the week that is perfect that I want to make my schedule for the future, we're just gonna choose the first day of that week. So I'm gonna choose August 5th here. And then we're gonna to go to continue and it's going to next ask you, okay, when do you wanna copy this to? So if you are somebody that needs to take one week and copy it that same week for the next, let's say 15 or 16 weeks all in a row, you're just gonna wanna choose the very next week. So you'll choose the 12th. And then it's gonna say, do you wanna rotate this? Do you wanna copy it every other week or just every single week? If you are somebody that is just consistent, you wanna have every one week and you can choose your end date. And you can go all the way up to a year. So I wanna go to 15 weeks at a time. What is gonna show down here is what days that this week is going to be copied to. So you can see it is every single week. I could even say, don't copy my weekends, just do Monday through Friday by unchecking these boxes so you can choose which days that are here. However, if you do more of a rotating schedule, so let's say it's every two weeks or so that the schedule is rotating, you will then choose where it says starting from, you'll skip a week. So you'll say, I want this week one schedule to start on August 19th. And I want it to repeat every other week. So every two weeks, until whatever date that I picked as my end date. And this is going to show you, okay, we're gonna take the source week, the week of the fifth, and we're gonna copy it to the 19th, and then the second, and then the 16th, and so on and so on. If you rotate every three weeks, you could have it, you could do that, or every four weeks. So this is really built to give you all a lot more customization on how you wanna copy and paste. So after you've chosen what you wanna copy and paste to, we hit continue, and then these questions should look familiar. You're gonna be able to choose uh, what positions do you want to copy for? Again, it's only going to let you choose what you have on the calendar. But if you have multiple positions loaded on the calendar, you can copy for multiple positions at once. But I only have front desk, so it's only going to let me choose one right now. And which employees do we want to copy for? So if I want to copy for every single employee, that's what I want to choose. But I could just choose a couple of employees here that I want to copy for. Then do you want to copy available shifts? So do you want to copy shifts that uh, do not have somebody assigned to them yet? Do you, if you have breaks assigned to those shifts, so let's say it's a nine to five shift and there's a break uh, scheduled that's in the middle for a 30 minute break, do you wanna copy that? And do you wanna copy this as published or unpublished? So do you wanna auto publish these when you copy them or do you wanna leave them as unpublished? Once this is all selected, we just hit continue and the system's just going to give us a quick review. This is what we're doing. Here's the source dates. This is the destination. This is where it's going and it's gonna be copied for every one week for the next this many weeks and this many days. It's gonna give you the full info. Make sure to review this page before you hit the copy shifts button because at that point, it will copy exactly what you um, have selected. After that function completed, that is completed, your shifts have been copied. If you have any questions at all about this change or about your certain scenarios on how you do things, feel free to reach out to us. Our number is 617-401-8733. Our email is support at subitup.com and our office hours are weekdays from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern time. Thanks so much.